be so i am picking up a question from cat 2020 slot 3 it's a set with four uh, questions on it and this set starts with uh, with uh, something like this let's just start reading the set from top i i guess you can see this the question starts with uh, 16 patients in a hospital undergo a blood test for a disease right it is known that exactly one of them has the disease so 16 patients are are going uh, are going through a blood test for a disease it is known that exactly one of them has a disease the hospital has only eight testing kits i mean typical of covid times and covid periods i hope all of you are safe in this please make sure that you are safe uh, following social distancing following the mask if required wear, wear double masks because uh, we all need to be safe and we need to get through this as a country but anyway coming back to this uh, the the hospital uh, has only eight testing kits and has decided to pool blood samples of patients into eight vials for the tests okay so 16 patients they are pooling blood samples into eight vials the patients are numbered 1 through 16 and the vials are numbered a b c d e f g h the following table shows the vials into which each patient's blood sample is distributed so you have this table here in front of you which shows that patient 1 for instance his blood sample went to vials B, D, F and H while patient 2's uh, blood samples blood sample went into the vials B, D, F and G right so so obviously if uh, the, the, the remaining part of this of this question here which talks about uh, uh, this is this is pretty logical what it talks about down here if a patient has the disease then each vial containing his his her blood sample will test positive if a patient has a disease then each vial containing his her blood sample will test positive if a vial test positives one of the patient whose blood samples were mixed in the vial has the disease please remember in this question it tells us that there is only one patient who has the disease right if a vial test negative then none of the patients whose blood samples were mixed in the vial has the disease so this is pretty logical and uh, and and you can read that part and i i hope you can also download this question just from the slot, slot 3 of cat 2020 do try to take this uh, question on your own before you watch my solution on this so so i mean uh, if, if one of these patients is uh, is uh, sick or has a disease so if let's say patient 7 has a disease what will happen is b c e and h these four vials there are eight vials these four vials will turn up positive and all the other pile vials will turn negative right but uh, of course uh, if only if you only test vial b and vial b turns positive what you can work out is that any of patients 1 to 8 can have the disease because the blood of all these patients is inside this so that that makes sense so nothing more to do in this and i think this part of the problem is maybe two to three minutes understanding what the structure is so nothing more to do so you go to the questions and you see the first question in this question in the set and the question says suppose while c test positive while c test positive and while a e h test negative which patient has the disease while c test positive C is positive and A, E, H are negative. So if C is positive, one of the patients whose, whose blood has gone into C will be the patient who is positive. So we just check through this uh, list and we find out that basically patients 5, 6, 7, 8 and patients 13, 14, 15, 16, these 8 patients would have, one of those patients will have the disease. So we, we eliminate 1, 2, 3, 4 and 9, 10, 11, 12. But then when, when it is told to me that A is negative, any patient with A 
whose blood sample has gone into A can't be testing positive or is actually negative for the disease which means we can eliminate 13, 14, 15 and 16 because all of them are A there right I hope you can see that but uh, otherwise I'll just zoom this patients 13, 14, 15, 16 as you can see all have A and hence my my, my uh, shortlist of who's got the disease with C positive and A negative is 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the problem further says that e, e is negative. So if E is negative, patient 7, 8 are, are disease free. And if H is negative, patient 5 is disease free. So that leaves only patient 6. I'll repeat that. E negative. E negative tells me that patient 7 and patient 8 are not carrying the disease because otherwise while E would have come positive and H negative means patient 5 can't have the disease so from the 8 shortlist we had 8, eight patient shortlist we had only one patient is left and hence the disease is with patient 6 and this is pretty much maybe what 1 minute max to do this question and you are on plus 3 marks in the CAT 2020 paper where uh, you know what happened, the harakiri that happened 6-7 six six, questions was what good students did in the DILR and we got 40 minutes to do this, this is 3-4 minutes of course the, the, there's the other part of, of being able to reach the set but I'll, I'll give you the philosophy as we keep going here going ahead here let's look at the next question and you try to do it yourself before you uh, see my solution Suppose while A tests positive and while D and G tests negative. Okay. Let's come here. A tests positive and D and G test negative. Okay. Let's take out the information first. Which of the following while should we test next to identify the patient with the disease? Okay. So A is positive. So A is positive means we are looking at patients 9 to 16. And if D is negative, then patients 9 to 12 are eliminated. They cannot have the disease. And further G is negative. So patient 14 and patient 16 is eliminated. So which Y should we test? We, we, we have to identify the disease, uh, the diseased patient as either 13 or 15 in this case. And uh, uh, between 13 and 15, if you look at them, you'll realize that the differentiator between 13 and 15 AC is common, H is common the differentiator is F versus E so you will have to test one of F or E to decide whether 13 is positive or 15 is positive if you test F for example it turns negative then 15 will be the answer if F turns positive 13 becomes the answer and so on so also you can test uh, while E also here so, so E or F is, are the two vials that are possible to be tested at this point and if you look at the options there's only one of them in the options and that's very clearly plus three marks again you don't need to check the solution because it is 100 percent structured according to what you have uh, just worked out six marks less than five minutes yet on this set let's look at the last two questions which of the following combinations of test results is not possible which of the following combinations of test results is not possible so we'll have to test each one of this one by one. B positive, CFH negative. Let's see. We'll have to test this one by one. Of course, here I have the disadvantage that I have to go back and forth on the on the picture. But uh, 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 in the exam, you will have the have the table right right there in front of you in front of this question. So ye jo aage piche mero karna pad raha that you will not need to do in the exam. So B positive, CFH negative. So let's see. If, is this possible? The possibility will of course depend on, on whether uh, you have one patient who is uh, possibly positive or you are able to actually identify one patient who is positive. So B positive means patients 1 to 8 are uh, the shortlist for the diseased person. C negative, patient 5, 6, 7, 8 are eliminated. F negative, patients 1 and 2 are eliminated, H negative, patient 3 is eliminated. You are able to identify patient 4 as the diseased person, the person who has a disease. 
so this is feasible right i'll just repeat that b positive shortlist 1 to 8 c negative removes 5 6, 5 6 7 8 from the shortlist f negative removes 1 and 2 from the shortlist h negative removes 3 from the shortlist so patient 4 you are able to identify so so this uh, group of tests or this uh, outcome of tests is definitely possible the question remember is about which of the following test results is not possible so this is possible so this is not the right answer let's look at option b while a and e positive and c and d negative so in this case while a and e are positive and c and d are negative so here pe obviously uh, if you apply your common sense you realize that the shortlist is for for people who have uh, while a and e as part of their uh, a uh, while in which their blood has gone so if a and e are positive where are, where is a and e so if you look through this you'll find a and e on 11 12 and a and e also on 15 16 so you've got a short list of four patients 11 12 15 16 one of them has to be diseased and if c is negative 15 16 get eliminated they can't be uh, diseased if c is negative and if d is negative 11 12 will be eliminated which will leave you no patient who is positive then which is against this, the, the structure of the question because the question tells you that one of the blood samples has to be positive one of the patients is diseased one of them has the disease the question tells you that very clearly so you cannot have a situation so very clearly this is the correct answer in this case you can of course test BD positive, FS negative and AG positive and DE negative you will see that uh, for example BD positive, FS negative kar lete. Option C ko mein eliminate kara deta hon tum ke liye. BD positive and FH negative. Option C. Let's have a look. BD positive and FH negative. BD positive means it's patients 1 to 4. FH negative means 1 is eliminated, 2 is eliminated, 3 is eliminated. Patient 4 has the disease. So you're able to identify in this case again. So, so this is okay. I mean, clearly option three is the right answer here. And you can do your check for the fourth one. Inside the exam, you should have the confidence to mark this uh, one, point, one, one point ago. And the last question, typically the DILR uh, sets, the last question, last couple of questions force you to think a little bit more than what the first few questions have made you think. But let's try to think about this. Suppose one of the lab assistants accidentally mixed two patients blood samples before they were distributed to the vials so you have to stop at this point and you have to understand what is happening what is happening is usne do patients of any patient patient x and patient y ko mix kar diya before they were distributed to the vials which of the following correctly represents the set of all possible numbers of positive test results out of the eight vials let's take an example Suppose P1, P2 ko mix kar diya usne. Question kya puchra hai? Let's understand the question. Which of the following correctly represents the set of all possible number of positive test results out of the 8 vials? So, what can happen in this case? And the options are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One option is 5, 6, 7, 8. A third option is 4, 5 and uh, what's your last option the last option is four five six seven we are talking about how many vials will turn positive can can turn positive so let's say i mix patient one and patient two blood this ka mix over here so what patient one ke box may be patient two ka blood jayega or patient 2 ke vials may be patient 1 ka blood jayega because the bloods are mixed so what will happen here is for example if I if I mix patient 1 patient 2 and if one of them is positive let's say one of them is positive right if one of them is positive so what will happen is B, D, F, H and G these 5 vials will turn out positive so there is a possibility of 5 definitely but 5 is there in in the answer in every every case so you're trying to see uh, whether you can go to four or you can go to eight because that those are differentiating values 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन तो ये तीनों ऑप्शन में है इसमें सिक्स सेवन नहीं है राइट सो सो यू हैव टू अप्लाई अल बट ऑफ योर माइंड हेयर एंड ट्राई टू सी कि ओके वॉट कुड बी द केसेस दे कुड बी अ केस वेर आई मिक्स पेशेंट वन एंड टू एंड पेशेंट वन एंड टू बोथ आर नॉट इन्फेक्टेड बिकॉज वन ऑफ द पेशेंट इज इन्फेक्टेड लेट से पेशेंट फाइव इज इन्फेक्टेड तो पेशेंट वन एंड टू का ब्लड मिक्स होने से पेशेंट फाइव का ही सैम्पल में वायल्स इन विच पेशेंट फाइव ब्लड गोज ओनली दो सैम्पल्स विल टर्न पॉजिटिव सो इन दिस केस देर बी फोर पॉसिबिलिटीज सो इन अ सिचुएशन लाइक दिस वी वी टॉक्ट अबाउट अ सिचुएशन वेर पी वन एंड पी टू लेट से पी वन वॉज वॉज इन्फेक्टेड वन ऑफ द वॉज इन्फेक्टेड पी वन वॉज इन्फेक्टेड तो पी वन के चार सैम्पल्स में तो पॉजिटिव आएगा ही और पी टू के चार सैम्पल्स में भी पॉजिटिव आएगा बट पी वन एंड पी टू हैव थ्री सैम्पल्स विच आर सेम सो दर इज एन एडिशनल सैम्पल ऑफ जी which will become positive in in this case so you'll get five positives if p1 p2 one of them is infected but if one of them is not infected p1 p2 both have, do not have the disease and p5 has the disease for example so the vials which will turn positive will be only those vials which have p5 blood and that would be bcfh4 so that means four is possible which means we can eliminate 5678 8. we can we can eliminate 56 Seven eight easily, right? So yeah, either four five, four five six seven, or four five six seven eight. So by this time, you should then start realizing that what if I take the mixing? The mixing they have not told me that uh, they have not told me that one and two can mix. Karna hai. They are telling me that you are free to mix any two bloods. We don't know which which bloods he has mixed. So imagine you mix bloods of P one and P sixteen. Why we are spotting P sixteen is because the the vials of p16 are different from the vials of p1 and let's say p1 has the disease so p1's blood is going into bdfh all will turn positive and p1's blood is also going into aceg and because p1 has the disease these will also get turn positive so there will be a total of eight positives in such a case which means four is also possible and eight is also possible and there's only one option that includes both those number of vials between 4 to 8 and that's the correct answer